Hey, man. Yes, sir. All right, so what you got? Well, <laughs> I have uh, a, a, a case of call reluctance is what I have. <laughs> okay, tell me about it. Alright, so what are you doing? I'm about to go and uh, work on this some more at the house. The other episode? Yeah. Cool, dude. We got some really good content coming out over the next couple days. But, yeah. You want me to come in and film tomorrow? Or? Let me see. What's happening tomorrow? Nah, we don't have to. Right. Why don't you just work on getting this next episode totally done? Alright. And then we'll film Thursday. Alright. Yeah, because I'm going to see I'm going to see a condo Thursday at nine o'clock. It'd be okay. cool if you came to that. thing bro I came in as a straight single agent and then and then I asked questions and learned off of other people but I never like depended on anybody or worked for anybody else so I mean where does that leave us like what uh, what other questions do you need like how can I motivate you today what's up guys so um, I got the Gorilla Joby little tripod for cameras and I got this sucker for Blake because he said he wanted one I got it off Amazon and he didn't know it so this is gonna be fun. Come check this out, Blake. You ever seen one of these things? Yeah. Hello, <laughs> what? I got you one. London. <laughs> London. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> yes. He said oh, you wanted one. Oh boy, I'm about to get lit with this thing. <laughs> They don't need no. Y'all don't need no. It's about to go down in Chinatown. It is a gorgeous day. Um, I had a listing appointment this morning. I'm negotiating several deals right now. Um, I'm fixing to go to a walkthrough and a closing. It's a pretty big closing. We're going to walk through, then I'm going to have lunch with the clients, then we're going to go closing. So that's a walkthrough at noon lunch then close it at two then i'm going to another listing appointment so that's two listing appointments today a walk through lunch with clients and a closing i'm setting up some showings for tomorrow that'll be saturday at nine o'clock we're going to look at six condos in the same complex these are people i've showed to before they say they're ready now so I'm hoping good things out of that. I'm also showing Sunday to some people who already have the condo under contract. Hoping to get that hammered out. But I'm negotiating like five deals right now. I'm trying to get all that stuff hammered out. So the weather is perking up. The market is perking up. Um, spring is coming strong, super strong. I have a whole list of stuff I just went through that uh, would really kind of blow you guys' mind. The market has exploded in the last 72 hours. Um, it's just a whole different ball game. I think we're seeing kind of the first glimpse of spring, the spring rush. This may be the beginning of the spring rush, I don't know. But anyway, big day today, big week, headed to uh, Birmingham for the Remax <clears throat> Awards Banquet Monday. And uh, you know, I'm gonna get my diamond award and uh, call it a day. Come on back and get back to work. So anyway, you guys take care.
We'll talk to you soon. Reach out with the questions and uh, click subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. By the time I've worked nights for a week, I was just used to yeah. working at night, and now I have to adjust back. And so it took me four days to adjust to, and then so. So you lost a lot of time. Yeah, time. so like it, I, it, it was hard for me to do any real estate. Like I found that it was really hard for me to do any real estate. And so I just pedaled around with it. But the biggest thing was, I was like, it was a real learning time for me. All right, man. Well, I think I got a good. I think I got a good feel for your for what I need to be doing. Okay. Um, you got any other any tips for me on getting it, getting rolling? Just to just you know you've been doing expired, so I would say with my program of the low pressure, don't go after the deal approach. I would say don't go cold turkey. You know, go half and half. Keep doing expireds half the time, and then do my system the other half. And uh, yeah. you know, I, I would I would mix it up and not go cold turkey. And um, you know, I would just see how you feel about each one because I think in the end I mean what will happen is is you'll slowly wean yourself off of the expires and stuff and you'll get to where you're just doing my stuff but it won't happen overnight it'll take time to transition but what you'll find is is in a year you're gonna find that being low pressure and you know not asking them to sell buy or sell and just seeing what you can do to help them and you know talking to them like they're a friend or family is gonna Gonna get you much more business. Okay, so that should. That yeah, I guess the other thing is that, that I just. <clears throat> I guess another. I guess now that we're talking about getting to get digging deeper, I guess the other fear is that that I'm not going to come across because I don't have them internalized and don't have them. I, I've got them uh, more or less memorized, but I, you know I don't have it to where it sounds natural yet. I'm afraid that I'm going to fumble. I guess. Yeah, you're going to. Who cares? So, you know, my tip, and I said this in my 100,000 in your first year video, is don't do any heavy social media stuff your first year. Hey, man. Can you hear me better? Yeah. Uh, okay, you always, you always have my cell phone number, like, yeah. I'm not good reception, so. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So anyway, man, uh, welcome to the Zero to Diamond family, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, so I wanted to call and just introduce and see if there's any questions you had or anything I could do to help you get started. Perfect. Okay, I will do my research today then and do that. Um, and last question, um, I know that you sent out emails every week, you know, to your database, but do you also mail out staff to them? Not really. Um, no? I mean, I have a I have a database that I send postcards to every month, but that's not necessarily the same people that I call or email, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe that's two different lists, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I send about 2,000, I have a database of farming that I do of 2,000 people, but, you know, because you can only afford so much, well, man, I mean, you're gonna call 2,000, you should call two, at least 2,000 or more people in your first month, you know, so, so what do you do after that? Well, you're just gonna keep calling people that aren't getting your mail. So, you know, you're gonna end up having a lot of people on your, on your your in your email database that aren't getting mail from you. You know, you can put them in there if you want to, but that takes a lot of time, you know, so it's all, it's all up to you, but I would spend more time calling people and trying to uh, put, uh, you know, develop your database more and more more and more instead of trying to be so organized and making sure everybody's getting every little thing that you send you know what I mean good meeting with my client now to uh, make some phone calls finish out the day strong and get that you know what I mean after, after I start oiling those gears again I'll be fine but it's just getting that, that first set of phone calls in okay so the best way to do it is just to do it